Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to make autocomplete text box by using Vue JavaScript with PHP script and MySQL database. As of today, everyone has an idea of autocomplete text box or Ajax Live Data Search which has been used for searching data from MySQL database. For make live data search feature, we have uses Ajax technology, which will provide us dynamic search results, or dynamic suggestions, which are related to search, which we have type in text box. Here we will make autocomplete text box, which will search data from MySQL database and display search result below text box by using PHP script with Vue JavaScript. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our testing database and in this we have one apps countries table. In this table, we have store whole world country name so we will use this table data for build auto complete or live search text box using Vue JavaScript. This is our working folder. First we have open index.php file. In this file header section, we have already included bootstrap library link, Vue JavaScript library link and Axios package link. In this file, first here in this division tag, we have write id attribute is equal to auto complete app, by using Vue JavaScript library, content of this inner tag will be affected by Vue JavaScript, and outside content will not be affected. Here for make auto complete text box, we will use view component features, by using this feature, we can reuse same HTML. For this in JavaScript code section, we have write view dot component, with two argument, in first argument we have write component name auto complete. And in second argument, we can define different section which has been used for build this component. So, here first we have write template section, in this section we can define HTML code of our component, so here we have write open and close division tag. Between this, we have write input type is equal to text, Placeholder is equal to enter country name. For fetch this text box value, here we have write we model directive is equal to query. By using directive, we can fetch the value of this text box. After this, we have write at the rate key up event is equal to get data function. So when we have type something under this text box, then it will call this function. Below this text box, we have write division tag with class is equal to panel footer. After this, we have write we if directive is equal to search data dot length. So, content of this division tag will be visible only, if this we if directive value is true, otherwise this division tag content will not be visible on web page. Under this tag, we have write an order list tag, with class is equal to list group. Under this tag, we have write anchor tag, with ref is equal to hashtag, and then after we have write, class is equal to list group item. In this tag, 
we have write v for directive is equal to data1 variable in search data variable. This is for print loop data. For print anchor text, here we have write two curly bracket, and between this, we have write data one dot country name, so this code will print country name. So here our template section is complete. Below this, we have write data section, with callback function, in this section, we can define which data we want to use for build this component. Under this function, we have write return statement, and here we have defined two variable like query variable is equal to blank value, and search data variable is equal to blank array. After data section, here we define methods section, here we can define methods, which has been used for build this components. In this section, we have write get data method, with callback function. Under this function, we have write this dot search data variable is equal to blank array. Next, we have write axios dot post method with two argument. This method will be used for send Ajax request with data. In first argument, we have write fetch dot php. It will send Ajax request to fetch dot php file. And second argument, we have to define data which has been sent with ajax request so here we have write query variable with value get from this dot query here we have send text box value has been sent with ajax request after this we have write then method this method will be called if ajax request has been completed successfully and it will receive data from server in JSON format. Under this method, we have write response variable, with data key like this dot search data variable is equal to response dot data. So here we have store data in search data local variable. Below this component code, here we have write application variable is equal to new view instance. Under this, we have write element option, with division tag id autocomplete app, it will takes the id of the html dumb element. Now we want to display view component on web page. So here in HTML code part, we have write open and close auto complete tag. This our component name. Now we want to check. Then component has been display on web page or not. So we have save this code and check output in browser. Friends, here we can see that when has been load in browser. Then on web page, we can see one text box has been appear on web page. This is autocomplete text box, which we have make under view component. Now when we have type something, then dynamic auto suggestion search has been display on web page from MySQL database. For this things we have go to fetch.php file. In this file, first we want to make database connection, so here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new do class object with three argument. In first argument, we have write mysql host is equal to local host, database name is equal to testing, 
username set to root, and password set to blank value. It will make MySQL database connection. After making database connection, now we want to receive data from AJAX request. So here we have write dollar received data variable is equal to JSON decode function. Under this function, we have write file get contents function, and under this function, we have write PHP input. It will receive data in JSON format, and by using JSON decode function, it will be converted into PHP array object. Below this, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array. Next, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar received data with query variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select country name from apps countries table where country name like dollar received data variable with query variable value and order by country name in ascending order after this we have write limit 10 so this query will fetch maximum 10 related search data from apps countries table below this query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution now we want to execute this query so here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method this method will execute above select query. Next we have write while loop, and under condition, we have write dollar $row variable is equal to dollar $statement variable with fetch method. Under this method, we have write do class with fetch asoc method. It will return row of data, which will be get by using dollar $row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar $data variable is equal to dollar $row variable. Here we have store row of data, under this dollar $data variable in array format. Now we want to send this dollar data variable data to ajax request in json format so for this here we have write echo statement with json encode function and under this function we have write dollar data variable now we have check output in browser so friends here first we have refresh web page after refresh of web page, we have already seen text box on web page, which has been made by using view component. Now we want to check autocomplete feature of this text box. So here we have type alphabet A. Then below this text box, we can see country name list, which has been start with alphabet A. When we have type more letter, then list of country name search result has been reduced, and we can get specific country name, which we want. This data has been searched in database, and then after fetch from MySQL database, this search data will be dynamic, and it is based on text box value which we have entered so if you have using google or youtube then when we have type something in search text box then 
at that time we can see list of search result has been display that result has been displayed by using autocomplete feature so this type of live autocomplete feature we have built in this tutorial by using view javascript with php script and mysql database if you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also